Since leading Tesla, Elon Musk has never followed the usual path of his competitors. He always wants the company's products to be unique and a bit unusual, something customers can't find at Ford, Rivian, Toyota, or any other brand. And now, it's not just about electric cars. This same approach shows up in Tesla's humanoid robot project, Optimus. What sets this apart is how Tesla is developing Optimus. Unlike other companies that pour tons of money into making their robots run, jump, or have super smart brains, Elon Musk said Tesla isn't going that way. More than half of the company's engineering work is focused on just one thing, the hands. According to the world's richest man, Musk believes that most of human intelligence is shown through the use of our hands. He pointed out that after millions of years of evolution, no other body part has been as important as the hand. Even early humans were able to create amazing structures and do complex jobs using their hands, long before having what we consider advanced thinking. That's why Elon Musk and Tesla picked the hands as the key feature to focus on with Optimus. Musk believes these hands will give Tesla's robot a major advantage over others and help it become the most advanced humanoid robot ever made. Hundreds or even thousands of tasks could be done by this robot. And today's discussion is all about the hands of Optimus. The new Optimus hand and forearm with 22 degrees of freedom is now in production. It's also learning to walk and catch balls, which is very exciting. It's amazing to see how fast Optimus has gone from just an idea to one of the most advanced humanoid robots ever built. If you want a humanoid robot that can actually do what people do, that's a big challenge. The updated arm has 22 degrees of freedom, compared to the earlier 11. Copying the movement of a human hand is not simple. Engineers know they are racing against 2 million years of human evolution, which made the human hand the most complex mechanical structure on Earth. If you had to name the body part with the most complicated motion, it would definitely be the hand. Human hands can do so many things, grab, pull, push, flick, press, chop, you name it. No other body part comes close. Aristotle even said the hand is the tool of tools. Our hands have 27 degrees of freedom. We can do nearly any task with them, thanks to their flexibility, five fingers, many sensory nerves, and advanced mechanical structure. Because of this, making a robot hand that moves like ours has been a major goal in robotics for a long time. It's something engineers across the globe have tried to achieve for decades. So, when Elon Musk said that the new Optimus hand has 22 degrees of freedom, it surprised many people in the tech world. Not because of how it looks or its smart brain, but because of a feature most didn't expect, a pair of robot hands that's quite close to human ones. Going from 11 to 22 degrees of freedom means it's now only 5 short of a real human hand. With the 11 degree hand, Optimus could already fold clothes, water plants, carry eggs without cracking them, install electronics, carry batteries, and even serve drinks. And that was just the start. The hands and brain were still basic. So, we can't help but wonder what the 22-degree version can do. When you watch Optimus move, the walking may not impress you, it has been joked that it walks like Biden. That walk does affect how smooth or balanced the robot is. But when you see Optimus using its hands, it's a different story. Many would agree, it's quite impressive. Late last year, Tesla shared a video of the new 22-degree hands. Optimus caught a tennis ball with amazing accuracy. But most people don't know how much effort went into making that happen. Almost half of the robot's mechanical complexity lies in its hands. Musk even said the hand might make up close to half of the total engineering in Optimus. They tried placing the actuators, the parts that move things, inside the hand. But that made the hands look too big and unnatural. In people, each finger has three joints and a network of muscles. Copying all that into a robot hand while keeping it the same size as a human one is a major engineering challenge. Tesla says Optimus now has 22 degrees of freedom in just the hand, more than any other robot you can buy today. Most have just five or six. Each finger on Optimus can move on its own, twist, bend, and even touch lightly, just like a real hand. 
So, instead of just gripping or dropping things, Optimus can do things like type, wash dishes, and more. What makes Optimus' hand so special is Tesla's choice to copy the way real human hands work. Most robots use motors packed inside the hand, which makes them heavy and clumsy. Tesla did it differently. They placed the main motors in the forearm and used stretchy cables to act like tendons, like the ones in your body. When your forearm muscles move, they pull tendons to move your fingers. That's what Optimus does too. This design made the hand lighter, quicker, more efficient, and very accurate. Each cable also has sensors to measure the grip strength, letting Optimus feel what it's holding. This way, it can grab an egg without breaking it, tighten a screw properly, lift a mug without spilling, and even notice if something is soft or hard. This level of control was once only possible in top research labs. Now, it's inside a robot people can buy. To make such tiny yet powerful motors, Optimus uses rare earth permanent magnets. Unlike big car motors, these small robot motors need to be super strong and precise. That's a tough problem, especially because over 80% of rare earth magnets come from China. And China has recently started limiting exports of these materials, creating problems for Tesla. Tesla admitted that this affected Optimus. While their electric cars don't rely on these magnets, the robot's compact arm motors do. Getting enough of these magnets has been tricky, especially since China now requires special permission to ship them out. It's not just about raw materials. To keep the hand precise, the motors, cables, and sensors must all be perfectly set up. Milan Kovac, who leads the Optimus project, said they're focusing on adding a new tactile sensor system. This new layer of sensors will cover more of the hand's surface, letting Optimus feel pressure, texture, and even temperature. In one demo, after catching a tennis ball, Optimus didn't drop it right away. It checked to make sure it had a solid hold. That's thanks to the new sensors, something other robot makers haven't matched yet. But it's not just about slapping on sensors. The whole system needs to be tuned carefully. They're also improving the control system using artificial tendons, wires that work like real tendons to give better control. This lets the robot do delicate jobs like typing, holding fragile objects, and even sensing how hard something is. However, adding these systems made the forearm heavier, which affects the robot's balance and how long it can work. To fix this, Tesla is now trying to lighten other parts while keeping power and precision. Another key area is the outer layer of the fingers and palm. This cover needs to be soft and bendy so the robot can interact with people and objects gently. But if it's too thick, it blocks the sensors. If it's too thin, the hand wears out quickly. Balancing both sides is hard. All these improvements are meant to build a robot hand that's not only strong and accurate but can also feel like a human hand. That's a huge step toward making Optimus useful in daily life. Tesla started testing Optimus on its factory lines in early 2024. There, the robot acts like a worker. A robot that just walks and talks isn't very helpful. But one with strong, flexible hands can do real work, in factories or in homes. At the Fremont factory, Optimus can now handle small parts, tighten screws, use glue, assemble items, carry breakable things, and check for problems using its sensors. In homes, it could do laundry, fold clothes, cook, clean, mop, open doors, carry bags, or even play with pets. Beyond chores, Optimus hands also make social contact possible. It can clap, shake hands, touch someone's shoulder, or gently comfort someone by touching their hand. That emotional connection could be important in nursing homes, hospitals, or special care centers. With its sensors, Optimus knows how much pressure to use, not too hard or too soft, keeping people safe and comfortable. Elon Musk has said Optimus could cost $20,000. But that may be too optimistic right now. There are still two big problems, the need for powerful magnets and other new parts that don't yet have an existing supply chain. Musk noted that nearly everything in Optimus is new. The motors, gearboxes, actuators, electronics, everything. 
Only the AI system is shared with Tesla cars. In a robot, every pound matters. Unlike cars, where adding extra weight doesn't make a big difference, robots need to be light to move well. That's why Optimus is hard to build, even with Tesla's factories and engineers. Costs will stay high for now, and a $20,000 price is unlikely until maybe 2029 or 2030. If Tesla releases a small number next year, it might cost closer to $40,000, about the price of a Model 3. At that cost, many families might still consider it, especially if it can work a full shift each day. Tesla says Optimus includes smart safety systems. It watches its own hand movements, checks its grip strength, and can shut down if something dangerous happens. Updates can be sent wirelessly, and safety limits can stop anyone from turning it into a weapon. Why would an electric car company like Tesla even build a robot like this? It's because Musk sees a move from smart software to smart action. AI without a body is just a program. The hand is the key to connecting AI with the real world. With Optimus Hand, Tesla is creating a future where AI can actually help people do real things. Even though Optimus will have bugs at first, that's normal for such complex tech. The robot has to learn everything from scratch. It still struggles to tell similar objects apart and may move slowly or misread instructions in loud settings. Its walking balance still needs work, especially on soft surfaces or around pets. Voice commands can be hit or miss if users speak in odd ways. It also relies on internet connections, without them, it might freeze or make mistakes. On top of that, Tesla can't reuse most car parts. New ones must be designed from scratch. And China's control over magnet exports could slow things down even more. Still, Optimus is a major step forward. In a world where people want freedom from boring, repetitive, or risky tasks, the hand of Tesla Optimus might become the first real sign of technological freedom. This is no longer just about walking machines or smart computers. It's about a hand that can touch, act, and change the world.